Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, Sarah here with you. Uh, another tutorial, a very quick one, sorry if I haven't been so on the very fast pace of making videos. I've been kind of busy lately. So anyways, um, this is just a quick tutorial on, uh, on bubbles, the bubbles which people write words in. Okay, so first of all, I write, I have like three types of bubbles. One, the normal bubble where you can talk, you know, it's the conversation bubble. Really, this really is shaped in anything or any shape depending on the uh, size of the conversation and how it goes. It differs from one conversation to the other. The second bubble is the thought bubble. It's somebody having like thoughts in mind. It's like a little cloud and it has like little circles. It's what basically a person would say in his own mind. That's the second type. The third type is the uh, so much a bubble or the loud clouded bubble. Uh, why it's called that is because if for say um, a person is screaming really hard or for say he's super angry and, and he just wants people to like stop this is the shout bubble. Let's call it the shout bubble. I think it will look so much better this way. The shout bubble. It's when somebody is screaming up to their lungs, whether it was help or it was just being so angry. Another thing about mangas uh, is the effects. That's the second part of this video. The fact, the effects is very uh, common in manga. Uh, here, as you can see, there is stare when Chief was shouting at these uh, guys, so they're staring, and Leon goes, he slams the doors behind him, let's see, another one, I have another effect right here, oh, the car, zroom, or something like that, I don't know what's exactly the fast going car, how it would sound like, and then the car suddenly stops, so stop up that, let me show you another effect. Okay, I'm not sure if this is exactly appearing. This is from my next episode. Still in the making. Anyways, as you can see here, there is another effect where Leon is clenching his hand. As you can see, I've written down here clench. So, um, sometimes it would be nice to just write down the effect name under the... Uh, or, or for say there's a certain action. It's really nice to write it down. That's what I've been noticing uh, about making manga. You know, making manga especially when they're clinching. Uh, they were like, right, clinch or something, or maybe clapping, they would write, like, clap. Something like that. So this is really common in manga. Um, it's a short tutorial. I don't know what else that I can say to you guys. Oh, there's another shout tutorial, or a, sh a shout bubble. He's really screaming or saying something in angry, so he's having, like, high voice. So here's another one. So yeah, it depends really on the situation and how, when you're using it or or just um, basically how the conversation is going, whether it was a cry for help or somebody like friends having fun or something. Really it's something like that. Okay, so that's as far as it goes for this tutorial. I know basically this is not like a tutorial, but somebody asked me to do this to talk about bubbles because they're having apparently some problems with bubbles. I hope this will work with you guys. I don't use like a certain instrument to make my bubbles. I just draw them by hand and them later. Nothing too much. Another thing sometimes, this is kind of a bit of a comic book like, when something like, let's see, you are in a place and then right off you jump into another place. So you're writing here back to a certain place, for example, back to the station or so, whatever. So, um, that's all. Ah, something here also, when a man appeared, so uh, I don't know how to tell people that this guy appeared. So I decided to write it right here. Then another man appeared. Uh, and then back again, we go to the station after the events end. As you can see, I've written it down here. I don't know how to explain more than this because basically there is nothing more to this than, as you can see, uh, oh, another effect. She's turning, turn down here. 
So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, let me know if you want me to do other types of tutorials. All of it I've got so far was speed art. Sorry if it was taking me so long, but speed art definitely takes a very long time, that longer than tutorials. It takes just um, from around, let's see, if I'm doing black and white from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. If I'm doing something in colors, it will take sometimes so much more like 4 or 3 hours and sometimes I would even finish some stuff off camera that's why I've been kinda of slow on the speed art I've been also kinda of busy lately a lot of things that's going on so I will see you later in my next video whether it will be a tutorial or a speed art so bye bye guys